Um, <laughs> Hello world, you're listening to Business Podcasting Made Easy on the number one global business talk and news network on the internet, IBGR, International Business Growth Radio. Welcome to the TV talk show formula where you get a roadmap to elevate your authority and expand your visibility with a TV talk show that you're proud of. I'm Donna Cundy, co-founder of the IBGR Network global radio authority and podcast expert and producer of over 14,000 podcasts. And I'm Declan Osegara. Some people know me as Rich, and I'm a TV producer and international TV talk show host. My TV talk show formula has impacted over 100,000 lives globally and gives business owners and entrepreneurs like you a simple way to be seen and heard with your own purpose-driven message. We're here uh, as your hosts for this 13-week journey and before we jump in, remember, if you want direct live support from us or, or for your business TV talk show, then contact us today at tvtalkshowformula.info. This week, we are walking through an easy-to-follow, proven, plug-and-play way to get your TV talk show done 13 minutes at a time in just 13 weeks. So form, uh, follow the formula each week, and welcome to the show. Yes. And this is week two of 13, week two of 13 in the TV talk show formula podcast. Fine by. It's fine I by. know. <laughs> We're going to talk about uh, you and your subconscious mind, the starting place of all achievement. For those of you that are big into Think and Grow Rich, you're going to love this episode. For those of you that don't know about Think and Grow Rich, you're still going to love it. This whole four episode series in <laughs> episode five, this episode, we're going to deep dive into how to identify your inner TV talk show critic. Then in episode six, how to make friends with your inner TV talk show critics so it stops sabotaging you. We'll move into episode seven, how to update your TV talk show critic script and show up behind the camera confidently. And finally, ending episode eight with your confident TV talk show persona already exists. Now go find it oh. using this shortcut. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and just <laughs> if you're just joining us or just to refresh your memory we uh, last week in week one talked about these four things episode one is the double vision and your success two we talked about your purpose to create a tv talk show that changes businesses and lives episode three was about overcoming imposter syndrome and we wrapped up last week's four episodes with unleashing your authentic voice behind the camera if you missed any of those, you can go back and listen to them at tvtalkshowformula.com and be sure to subscribe. Yay. So, much fun. <laughs> yeah. so today's episode is how to identify your inner TV talk show critic. Oh gosh. That makes it season 12, episode five. Mm -hmm. A lot of podcasts. And, yeah. Our quote, our quote today is Napoleon Hill because we just love him. I know we talked a lot about him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was someone worth listening to. <laughs> he really was. He really was. Especially when you can go deeper and understand what what the gems and the jewels in the in the book were talking about. Yeah. But uh Napoleon Hill said that when you close the door of your mind to negative thoughts, the door of opportunity opens to you. Mm. Isn't that interesting? How do you do that? I, you know, I I hear a lot of my clients and, and just friends and family, because I it's so ingrained in me that I have choices. I can choose to be upset. I can choose not to be upset. I can choose to go down this path. I can choose not to go down this path. And uh, the, some of some people like, how do you do that? How do you just change your mind? How do you just change your thinking? Oh, it sounds it's it's very simple. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest, simplest thing you'd ever have to do. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I mean, the, the way I like the, my access point to that is, and it just happened, actually, I got a piece of feedback uh, from a mentor. Mm -hmm. It's like, bah, bah, bah. didn't like the feedback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, this was last night before I went to bed. And I realized if I didn't take care of it before I went to sleep, that it would show up in my dreams. I'd wake up, right? So I was breathing. And, and, and one of the access points is... Uh, well, how would I rather feel instead? Yes. <laughs> and I, I had to play with that question a bit because the feedback wasn't wrong. It's just not what I wanted to hear in that moment. And ultimately, it sharpened me and made me think more, right? But I could be upset and come from that egoic place. 
I mean, I asked for the feedback. Right. <laughs> so they said, yeah, <laughs> we don't care if you like it or not, but this is what you need to hear. Right. But, but I didn't have to be in this, in the place of feeling bad about it or be mad about it unless I chose to, and I didn't want to go to sleep that way. So how would I rather feel instead? I'd rather feel peaceful. I'd rather feel happy. And, and that allowed me to go into the, to start closing the door to my negative thoughts. It wasn't negative feedback. It was what I decided it meant. Um, yes. We put the labels from, on everything. Yes. Very good at labeling things, right? So it was it was coming from a lower, you know, my, my little ego got bruised momentarily. And eventually I got to the place of, okay, this is for me. Yeah. <laughs> this is to help me. And it's what I asked for. And so something different is going to come out of this. And uh, and And I woke up in the morning. And there it was again. Oh dear! <laughs> I was like, no. So I got to do the process again because that's my meditation time. That's my that is my development time in my mornings. Mm -hmm. And I did. I didn't want to let it bleed into that or uh, have me bypass that because I was going to be mad instead, right? Yeah. So that 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 was how would I rather feel instead? And just getting myself into my higher self versus coming from that lower energy. Yeah. And as you're talking, I'm, I'm picturing a revolving door mm -hmm. and I can walk into the revolving door and feel a certain way or I can continue to revolve and, and stay where I am. And so if we feel one way in our body, the other also exists. We just need to be intentional about going through the revolving door to get to the other side of it. Mm. I like and that. yeah, yeah. A lot of people just go through the door around and around and around. So make sure you get off on the other side of the emotion that you want to create <laughs> instead of the one that's showing up. And why is all of this important? <laughs> well, because if you are going to be someone <laughs> worth watching on your own show, right? You really want to be able to show up on camera confidently uh and authentically like we spoke in the last episode if you didn't watch hear that one watch that one go back and see that too because it, it relates to this um this we don't want you to be caught up in your self-sabotaging -sab thoughts or the patterns that will show up that could if you give them permission <laughs> yeah stop you and slow you down i love yeah. the revolving door idea that's Thanks. really that's really good <laughs> It just came to me as you were talking because you were doing the little circle thing. Was I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> when I'm like, I just get in. You do know what you're doing because it was <laughs> gave me ideas. So um, anyway, what you need to know about this is really that you, you, me, Declan, all of us, we live our life on autopilot. We don't. We want to think. Many of us want to think we're in control of things, but we're not. There's. There's there's something deeper within us that drives our habits and our beliefs. And that's really what we're talking about. Why are we talking about habits and beliefs and, and mindset and thoughts on a, on a TV talk show formula show? Well, because that's the starting place of everything is how you think about yourself and how you think about what others are talking and saying. And what we want you to, to know is that just saying or even committing to a new goal is not enough to get you to turn on the camera consistently. But the good news is that your autopilot can be changed once you know how to do it and just go back to that revolving door. You can step into that revolving door at any time to go to the opposite side of your thinking and then get off there and stay there for a while in the opposite part of your thinking. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And uh, if, 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 if you have concerns, fears, doubts, worries about being seen this way, then uh, that is a starting point. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that, I think, uh, here and going forward about how do you actually get off on the other side of the yeah. revolving door. Um, but I think we need to do a quick uh, reminder that make sure to subscribe to the show at tvtalkshowformula.com. And if you want to support, uh, if you want our support uh, for your business podcast, then contact us today at tvtalkshowformula.info. Yes, yes. What do, what do they need to do ah. to stay on the other side? Well, it's it's the awareness. It's what we're talking about, right? That you're aware, like in the little story I told you about me being perturbed by the feedback I got. 
-hmm. I was aware that I was having some kind of feeling about it. Right? And that was the access point, like the, the quote said, to closing that door or to uh, allowing myself to get through the revolving door onto the other side where I could feel differently and have a different perspective of the feedback and actually use that feedback uh, constructively, right? And so self-awareness is what we're talking about. Uh, and if you're not, if you're wanting to be seen on video, on camera, on your own show, and you're not turning on the camera when you say you want to, then you want to become aware. What are you saying to yourself? What are those mindset monsters whispering in your the ear? Gremlins. <laughs> gremlins, right? Um, so we're, we're inviting you to take an action um, around this. So this is where I get a little uncomfortable <laughs> because we're asking you to listen to the self-talk. Mm -hmm. And the only way to change that, right, to, to get through the other side of the door, like Donna is saying, is you got to know what it is first. And so it becomes uh, an issue of being aware. You just get to be really gentle, but brutally honest at the same time with yourself. So ask yourself this question. I know being on camera would help my business, but mm -hmm. that's where the mindset monsters ought to start popping in. <laughs> the, yeah. Otherwise known as your fears, doubts, worries, preconceived notions about why you're not on camera as much or at all at this point, as you know that you could be because it could help your business. Yeah. So, so how, do this now. <laughs> yeah. Do it, do it now. Make a list of at least five reasons why you're not getting on the camera. What's yeah. showing up after the butt? That's your limiting belief. They, I'm, they, and, and write them down. You're going to want to be fully aware and let about listening to yourself. Cause a lot of people don't know to listen to themselves because it's your own voice. You don't even hear it all day long, chattering, chatter, chatter, chatter. So yeah. tune in, write I, down I, what happens after the butt. We got to start wrapping up this show right now. Yeah. We can definitely deep dive into more. And if you want oh, more direct oh. support, as you always, keep listening. TV talk show <laughs> formula dot info. This is business podcasting made easy. The TV talk show formula. We're wrapping up episode five. It's such an important one. We want you to, to, to write down what comes after the butts and yes. start listening to that voice. This is uh, how to identify your inner TV talk show critic shows up after the butt. <laughs> You're listening on the IBGR network. I'm Donna Cundy. And I'm Declan Osegara. Thanks for listening and do that list because we're going to use it in the next episode. So yeah, don't go anywhere. We're coming back with three more. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs>